Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Legends Arceus. Okay, guys, I got a lot of stuff done. First of all, I've got me a team full of alphas. Yes, alphas. Alphas everywhere. <laughs> I sat there and I hunted, guys. I just hunted for alphas and I finally have my dream team of alphas other than my starter. I'm so happy. I really didn't think I was going to get an alpha for Arcanine. I was honestly just going to give up on that one because there's only like one place Growlithe spawns and it's only ever like one or two and sometimes. So when I saw that alpha Growlithe, I couldn't even believe it. So yeah, we got our big boy. And then I got Alpha Voltorb from like a an outbreak. And with Basculin, I just got really lucky. But then Sligu is just like a, it's like a set spawn in the um, Crimson Mirelands. So is its evolved form. And I would use its evolved form, but it's kind of really high level compared to all my other Pokemon. And I mean, I just love Sligu's face. I mean, look at this. <laughs> look how big she is. But I mean, look at that. Look at her face, man. You tell me you don't love that. <laughs> yeah, here we are. My full alpha team. Look how big the Arcanine is. I love him. The Basque Legion actually looks a lot bigger now. <laughs> he was really small before, in my opinion. The Voltorb's huge. I'm still kind of keeping Voltorb as a Voltorb for the time being. I'll eventually evolve him, though. But yeah, so that's not the only thing I did, guys. I also went ahead and caught some of the Pokemon I needed for some of the side quests, and I made sure to get alphas of them. Dude, when I say I hunted for alphas, I meant it, guys. Oh, and I finally also caught a Combi in Romanus Island, so we can finally show that guy the final Combi that he wants for his honey or whatever. Oh, yeah, and then while I was exploring the Cornet Highlands a little bit more and, you know, catching Pokemon and stuff, guys, I found a Rotom. I found a Rotom there. I found it in, like, two different places. And, like, it would keep spawning everywhere every time I would load into the area. So I caught a bunch of Rotoms. <laughs> I think I caught enough Rotoms to literally have like one Rotom for every form it has, which is cool and all, but I don't even know how to change its, its forms. And then I also found an Alpha Ninetales at the volcano. I, 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 I went there and I was like, what the heck? <laughs> is that a set spawn? I don't think so, because I never saw it ever again. Oh, and Inko is apparently standing here next to Zizu. Does he even say anything? I must tell you, Biddy, journeying with you has given me new ambition. I wish to make the joys of battling Pokemon more widely known in this world. I can call someone for you to battle, if you would like. Who can I conduct here for you? Oh, who the heck's Wenton? <laughs> Bren? Who are these people? I know who Zizu is. No, I'm not interested right now. That's pretty cool. I guess he just lets you battle people here. Wow. You can actually use the training grounds to train. So yeah, anyway, today we're going to start off by doing a bunch of side quests before we head to the new area. I'm going to get the ones done that I can right now. Oh yeah, I also finally found a Cherim. I almost forgot about this one. I finally found one and I completed the Pokedex just with the one Cherim I found because I couldn't find a second one. <laughs> yeah, and I got all these other ones like the Burmy. I got the Nose Pass. I got the Wormadam. So I'll complete all those and then we're going to go check out this Clefairy's Moon Dance thing. Hey guys, I finally brought your third Burmy, your trash Burmy. You got that Burmy yet? The trash covered one? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Yeah, here it is. It's th it's this pink one is the trash one. Oh, now that's a Burmy and no mistake. Huh? I don't know about that. Indeed. This Pokemon is no Burmy. Guys, you're all correct. Do you not understand now? I mean, all the Burmies practically look the same other than like the color and like the type of fur they have or whatever. Well, we've all seen each other's supposed real Burmy, but we're no closer to agreeing on anything. Nothing else for it. Let's have Professor Laventon decide. The Burmy he chooses to put in the Pokedex will be considered the real Burmy. <laughs> well, joke's on you, dudes. He's going to put all three. Once you complete Burmy's Pokedex entry, come back and show us what it says, will you? Oh, oh, geez. I actually don't know if I have it complete. Oh, no. Let's see. I guess I do. So that's how it is. It seems all our Burmy are indeed, well, Burmy. All three of them. So you're saying that Pokemon of the same species can come in forms as different as these? How incredible. I guess that means... We were all in the right. Looks like we wasted our breath arguing. They wouldn't have argued if my character just opened her freaking mouth and told them. Geez, well, I'm sorry I was so harsh to both of you. I like how his name is Tarouche, by the way. Like trash. No, no, I'm just as much at fault. But really, this whole escapade has taught us a lot about Pokemon. I'm truly glad. I apologize for getting a little heated back there too, but it all turned out well in the end. And sorry for getting you caught up in our mess. You did a great job clearing up our confusion. Did I though? Oh, Leafstone. Oh, thanks, man. Now then, I'm feeling fired up to learn even more about Pokemon. If you find any other curious Pokemon, we'd love to hear about them. <laughs> Will they actually hear about other Pokemon that I've brought? The professor was nattering on to me about how Pokemon evolve and then they look different. What about Burmy, though? They already look different. What happens when they evolve? <laughs> I mean, they just, they, they evolve and there's three different forms. It's not, it's not that difficult to understand. Anyway, that Leafstone reminded me, one of you told me that you can actually evolve your Eevee into a Leafeon if you go to that Moss Rock and it turn a forest. 
You can do it in this game too if you just have high enough friendship with your Eevee. And I think that's super cool. <laughs> it's too late for me though. Hey dude, I know it's literally been ages. I think I got this quest. Oh my God, there's a, there's a wisp there. I think I got this quest literally when I was first starting the game out. Like when I was still in the first area or something. <laughs> this poor guy's been waiting ages. There's one wisp remaining. You know, I should probably just find that while I'm doing side quests. Finished Cherum's Pokedex entry, have you? Let me have a look. Wow, you sure went into detail. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I see. So, it changes its form when the sun's hidden. Guess I didn't see it evolve. I just saw that change in action. I see now why it helps to have you Survey Corps folks working at researching Pokemon. Guess I'd better get back to my own work. Food on the table is just another way to repay ya. <laughs> okay, man. Oh yeah, guys, I think someone actually found my satchel. Oh god. Dude, that's so many satchels. <laughs> I'm sorry, all you people, jeez. But yeah, someone found mine. Lost satchel in the Corned Highlands. Daniel found it and sent it back to you. Thanks, Daniel. Yeah. Oh, and you can check contents. Yep, that's all the stuff I lost. Okay, claim. I guess that's it then. <laughs> hey, Granny, finally brought you that thing you wanted. Yeah, it's this one, Petaleel, apparently. And I got me an alpha. <laughs> Dude, it's so cute. Look how big it is, wow. Oh my, heavens, child. This one's an alpha. No need to give me such a shock. But here, let me take a closer look. Ah, yes. There's no mistaking these lovely leaves. This precious darling is the one we need. Now then, Petalil, my dear. Would you be so kind as to share a few of your leaves with us? I mean, it only has three. How many are you going to take, Granny? You're going to just like pull them out of its head? Hello again, young lady. Did you find that plant I asked you for? Oh no, she's going to find out that they came from a Pokemon. I remember Granny didn't want her to find out. Ah! Uh, a Pokemon? Oh my, it seems we've been discovered. Petalil here is just sharing its leaves so that we can make our medicine shine in. No need to panic. B but uh huh the medicine ingredients came from this this pokemon the whole time you know how scared i am of pokemon i'm sorry but i just can't make this medicine anymore wow lady seriously it's medicine dude you do what you have to do like she won't even make it even if granny's the one plucking it from the thing uh this phobia of yours has gone on long enough Pokemon scare you because you know nothing of them, yes? But your ignorance should worry you far more than the unknown, my dear. Yeah, you said it, Anise. <laughs> that is some good advice. The Galaxy team even set up the survey course so we could all learn more about Pokemon. Would you have their efforts go to waste? I understand what you're saying, but I can't just get over my fear right away. I mean, I, I get it. And phobias, phobia is like an annoying thing. You can't just get over it. But <laughs> I still think it's weird. She won't even make the medicine if like Granny's the one plucking the leaves. Though, I guess, I guess the Survey Corps works hard out there in the wild too, even if it's scary. For all you know, I risked my life trying to get this Pokemon lady. Okay, I'll do my best to get over my fear. I'll start by learning more about this Pokemon and really getting to know it. I mean, are you really scared of that thing? I guess it is kind of big. Oh my god, look at it, guys. Out of my way, Granny. Oh my god. <laughs> Why do all the people that want to keep my Pokemon, they're like all indoors. Like the freaking nurse lady is going to be indoors. She's going to be in her clinic. It's my dream to have my own shop that specializes in unbitter herbal medicines. Well, if it's your dream, you better befriend this Petalil. There was definitely another person sitting on that mat, guys. I bet they're going to appear if I walk over here. <laughs> it's like a, it's like my magic trick. There's no one there now, right? But watch as I make a human being appear before your very eyes. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here all week. <laughs> Dude, I always forget about the freaking giant parasect. Hey, man, I finally found that bee you wanted. I'll just have myself a little sample of a tunny. Why do I have to stare at him? This type of honey just begs to be stirred into a cup of tea. Must be something different about the flowers. <laughs> yeah, there's Romanus flowers, guys, in Romanus Island. And that makes sense. They, they're like the Romanus flowers that apparently Romanus Park is known for in Diamond and Pearl. It's not the legendary Pokemon. It's the flowers. So Colby in different areas make different flavored honey. What a delightful, mysterious bunch they are. I'm getting the urge to go collect more honey. Hey, I got that Wormadam lady. You know, whenever she adds new clothes, I can never even tell what she adds. I think I think it's just like extra fancy kimonos. So this is what's known as a sandy cloak. Oh, did she say something different? Because she didn't specify which Wormadam she wanted. The way the sand wraps around Wormadam, 
It's as if the very earth is giving it a loving hug. Oh no! Do the style of outfit she puts depends on which Wormadam you give her? Yes, I got it. But you know what? I guess I'm glad I gave her this one then. I would be very pleased if you would have a look at my latest additions. I mean, I'll look at them, girl, but I'm probably not going to notice what's new. Wow, she has another request. I'm not surprised, though. The color of your clothing can make all the difference in the world, don't you think? <laughs> you, you think? Yeah, definitely. I, I agree. I knew you'd agree. You want to dress up in your favorite color, don't you? Is she going to add the ability to like dye clothing? I want to make clothing in new colors, but I can't get a hold of the right materials. If you happen to have red shards, blue shards, and green shards, would you kindly give me one of each? <gasps> oh, I think I do have. Hopefully. I'll go check. Oh, I do. Thank goodness. Such beautiful shards. I'm sure these will work perfectly. Now then, let me try and dye something. You're going to use the shards to, to make dye? I can make anything into a beautiful dye if I cook it down in the trusty cauldron inside my shop. Is that how making dye works? I thought you needed like specific materials. But I could be wrong. It's not like I know anything about making dye. A color more beautiful than I even imagined. And all thanks to you, dear customer. I hope you enjoy the different looks that new colors bring to your outfits. Uh, thanks, I guess. I'll go check. Oh, she does have new colors, guys. She's got things like scarlet and chartreuse. Wow, and flame. Wow, that's kind of cool. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> look at this one with the X's. That's so cute. Wow, look at the scarlet bandana. I'm not going to lie. I really like how the bandana looks with this hair. Like, I really do. But I kind of wanted to wear like the warm hat since we're going to apparently like an ice place, right? Wow, look at the stripes, guys. Wow. How are you doing, Beogard? You doing good? The Pokemon Nobles are seriously powerful Pokemon that protect the Diamond and Pearl Clans. It's incredible to think you're even stronger than they are. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay, we can come give the Kawaii nurse her uh, Krogunk. So this is a Krogunk. Got a charming little face, hasn't it? I like how she doesn't even care how big it is. Dude, it's almost as tall as she is. I need a smidgen of your poison, please, Krogunk. Would you be so kind? Doesn't Krogunk kind of remind you a little bit of Sans from Undertale? <laughs> it's the smile. The smile reminds me of him. Thanks very much. Now to whip up that medicine. All right, she's doing back medicine, right? For the guy in the bed. There we have it. This ought to be super effective. Okay, why, why was he laughing like that? He's just like, <laughs> she thinks she's curing back medicine, but in reality, she's about to poison the shit out of that man. Pokemon come to our aid in surprising ways sometimes, don't they? I bet we'd be able to help an even greater range of people and Pokemon if we could set up some kind of aid facility where Pokemon worked side by side with us. <laughs> is she talking about like the first ever Pokemon Center? That is so cute. Of course. We'll need to learn much more about Pokemon if that's ever to happen. Oh, it'll happen one day. I'm starting to think the survey course work will help us in ways people aren't even aware of. Bazile! My poor back! It's screaming! Oh no, my friend. He's in pain. One moment. I've got medicine that ought to be of great help. So is this Krogan going to be here from now on? Yes, he is. <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> how, your back still hurts, man? Oh, don't worry, dude. This lady's about to give you the best medicine that comes from this Pokemon that I caught for her. Don't worry, dude. I'm pretty sure it's not poisonous. I think you'll be fine. He kind of laughed a little bit when she was talking about it, but I'm sure it's fine. It's not a big deal, right? Anyway, I'll, I'll come see you again tomorrow, assuming you're not discharged, man. Anyway, so this guy's sister has disappeared yet again, probably in the Coronet Highlands. Which is good because we have to go there for the Clefairy dance thing. Every time I'm in trouble, you turn up just like clockwork. <laughs> yeah, man, it's not like it's not like you have an indicator over your head or anything. I'm just psychic. My bitty senses were tingling. I knew you needed help. That's right. Wanda's missing again. Please help me find my lost sister. Yeah, I got you, man. Yeah, the Cornet Highlands, just as I thought. I'm like Sherlock Holmes. Okay, we're going to go give the girl her nose pass and then we'll uh, find the sister and then we'll check out whatever this Clefairy Moon dance is. And then we'll be good to go on side quests and unless new ones pop up. <laughs> Why is that pulsating like that? You guys see that? That's not part of the quest marker. That's so weird. What does that mean? Yeah, after I do those three and assuming none more pop up, I'm going to try to go find the last wisp in the town so we can see if the little girl says anything different. And then we'll, we'll head to the new place, guys. Wow, she literally teleported inside of the cave already. Well, didn't she say she was going to look for a nose pass also? Where the heck is she? She's like over there. Hey, lady, I brought you the nose pass. Oh, God. Oh, she, she like materialized. What is she doing? She's like tapping her foot there. She's literally just waiting for me. She's like, she's like scamming me. She's just like, oh, yeah, I'm totally going to help look for a nose pass too. Don't worry. You're not going to be the only one doing work for this. But she's just like lying. She's just waiting here for me to bring her the nose pass. She knows I'm going to catch for her. I'm hoping she'll appear in the town with the nose pass. Is this an alpha nose pass? Wow. 
I guess for someone as skilled as you, this is no big deal. Yeah, I'm incredible. Now, as I understand it, this Pokemon's giant nose always points in the same direction. I've seen them turn around before. Maybe when they're just chilling, they're always facing the same way. So if it's facing this way, why is she still doing that with her foot? Stop doing that. <laughs> what are you so impatient for? That means the exit must be over here. A nose path never wanders, indeed. I wish I'd encountered this Pokemon sooner. I owe you a big thanks. It's such a relief to finally have a nose pass as my trusty guide. All the twists and turns of Wayward Cave can't stop me now. It better be worth giving you an alpha nose pass. I actually found that alpha nose pass in that cave where the uh, fossils are. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Okay, so now I'm supposed to find Wanda. And I don't know where the heck she's gonna be. I'm literally just gonna have to wander around everywhere <laughs> and look for her. Oh my God, you guys. I was looking in that direction. I was like, why is there a nose pass there? And I just realized it's the girl. Is this where she's gonna be standing around over here? I was hoping she would go back to town. Hi, how, how are you doing? Nose pass is ever so helpful. I certainly can't thumb my nose at how much easier my work has become since you brought it to me, you dear. Uh, yeah, no problem, I guess. Oh my God, guys, there's blue signals in that direction. Is she, she's gonna be down, isn't she? Let me see, it says she's over here. She's there? <laughs> okay. Hi, lady. Wow. I'm, I'm like right there if you guys were <laughs> wondering. Wow. Okay. I thought she would be like way out of the way or something. Hey, girl. Betty, at last. Oh, I knew you'd come find me. <laughs> what am I? Your knight in shiny armor? I got hit with a gust from Honchcrow that sent me tumbling right down the mountainside. Honchcrow. I haven't seen those around this area, lady. You're lying. I couldn't climb back up and I couldn't get down either. So I've been stuck. So, um, please, get me back on track. <laughs> Assuming she's telling the truth. This time and the last time, she didn't really get lost. Only the first time she got lost. I mean, these, these other two times, she's just kind of been stranded. You're always around to save me when I need it. If only you were in my core, Biddy, I'd be so much better off. <laughs> what the heck, lady? You can't, you can't just be relying on me for the rest of your life. We're galaxy teammates. I'm always here to help. Uh, um, uh, I'm here to help. Really? It's such a relief to hear you say that. I'm so glad I can rely on you, Biddy. Though it's a little embarrassing, I guess, to admit to myself that I need to rely on you. Maybe you should get yourself a Pokemon or something to help you get around. Oh, you know what? I used to think that Sneasler was a mean Pokemon since it looks sly and unsavory, but it helps me out of a real tight spot. So I guess it must be good at, at heart after all. Uh-huh, where are you going with this? Where's she going? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I thought she was gonna like tell me she wants a Sneasler or something. Well, all right. Okay, so now the only request we have left is the Clefairy's Moon Dance. I mean, I have to go report to Zeke, but whatever. Oh, that's so amazing because we can't do this one because we need sand radishes and then this is just the wisps. I guess I'll go make it nighttime. I don't know if I should make it evening or nightfall, but I think nightfall is probably what we want. Okay, here we go. I guess I'll just make my way over there. I don't know if like a cutscene's gonna happen or if I'm supposed to look for something specific. I guess we'll find out. You know, I should probably hurry. I've been here like taking my sweet time, getting resources. I caught an alpha. It's like, you know, time passes by. I should probably hurry. Okay, what am I? Uh, there's the alpha. So what am I supposed to do while I'm here? Am I supposed to go exactly to where this marker is? I don't know. This is so magical at night. The Clefairy are also only here at night because I've come here during the day and like both the Clefairy, oh, investigate. Both the Clefairy and the Clefable aren't out during the day. Come back when the full moon is out. Are you kidding me? Oh no, am I gonna have to just keep changing the time until the full moon is out? I'm so stupid. I should have probably thought about it a little more before just like beelining my way here. Okay guys, well, for you guys it's gonna be a second, but for me it might be a bit. I'm gonna go make it a full moon. Okay guys, it's finally a full moon. This actually didn't take me too long. I saved just in case. I should probably hurry. That actually didn't take me too long to do. It only took me like a couple of sleeps in the tent. <laughs> okay, here we are, here we are, here we are. I hope this works. I hope it's fine that it's raining. <laughs> okay, all right, here we are, here we are, here we are. So now I can investigate here. Oh, I think it worked. I think it worked. <gasps> oh my God, what's happening? They're so cute. They're so cute. Pee -pee. <laughs> oh my God. I like how they're in order from largest to smallest. Is that them dancing to the moon? That's not even a full moon, really. I just realized it looked like a full moon when I was running here, though. You guys are so cute. I like how the little ones like lagging behind the other ones. 
A pea? Oh no! Did it notice me? What's happening? Wait, why, why are they getting scared? <laughs> this one, this little one. Oh my god. He's like, ah, where'd you guys go? Wow. You should let Aster know that the Clefairy of Hisui do indeed dance. Oh, that's cute. Oh, what's happening? Oh, there's something on the ground over there. It's a star. What is this? A moonstone. You need one of those to evolve Clefairy, right? Into Clefable? Wow. That was cute. That was a really cute side quest. Wow. This place is so magical at night. Do you guys think this area becomes Flow Aroma Town in uh, Diamond and Pearl? Because maybe this place will like kind of become the flowery meadow or whatever behind that town. I'm just guessing that because of all the petals in the air. Because I know that the meadow in Brilliant Diamond and Pearl had petals, right? Hey dude, I found your sister yet again. You you thinking about getting the, a Pokemon to help you out? <laughs> you thinking about that at all? It seems as if there's nothing you can't find. <laughs> I'm always thanking you, but thanks again. There's simply no doubting your abilities. And I heard from Wanda how you reassured her, telling her your teammates and all. She's even sort of calling you her savior. <laughs> um, cool. It really means a lot to her to be accepted by someone like you. And as her big brother, I appreciate you keeping her safe too, of course. You guys are so cute. I know that she can be a real scatterbrain, so I'm glad she's got you looking out for her. Yeah, no problem, man. Looking forward to when she gets lost in the new place. Okay, guys, I want one of you to tell me what on earth is casting this shadow? Okay, what is that? Because this guy has a shadow. There's no other shadow anywhere else, right? So we can't sit here and say it's like the lights on the ceilings or something. What is that? What is that? It's so creepy. And I swear my character looked at it for a split second. What is this? That's kind of scary. Oh, so you say Clefairy dance here in the land of Hisui too. They must have been adorable to behold. I must go and see them one of these days. Yeah, they're pretty cute. I love how I run out of the building. I made sure to check before I left the building and there weren't any new requests. But then I leave the building and now there's a new request. So I have to run back inside. <laughs> Why? Again, dude? I just left. Dude, it's been like two seconds. How did she get lost in those two seconds? I just left her with you, man. Now here's the girl I was hoping for. Wanda's constant savior, Biddy. Yeah, man. How did this even happen, dude? She was just here. She was still standing next to you when I left the building. Did you warp her to faraway lands to get her lost? Are you guys secretly doing this on purpose? I'm afraid the day has finally come. This time, Wanda couldn't even find her way back from the Obsidian Fieldlands right on her own doorstep. That's where she got lost? I guess she hasn't gotten lost there yet. I thought it was gonna be in the new place. It's practically our own backyard, right? I mean, yeah, it's like right there. She should know her way around. So I'm worried that something happened to her. Somewhere in Obsidian Fieldlands. Okay, well, I guess I'll go do that real quick. Okay, here we are. The good old Obsidian Fieldlands. All right, Ursaluna. Let's do this. Oh, here we go. The blue thing. I mean, I was wandering around the whole like front part there. It's like she's apparently around here somewhere. I guess I'll go see. Where are you, girly? Oh, gosh. We're over here. Oh, God. Oh, I see her. I see. What is she? She's like with three Paris. Oh, God. Oh, I'm OK. I'm OK. Let me just get off the bear. Here she is. Yeah, she's like right here. For those of you that didn't know. <laughs> I don't want to sprout mushrooms. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, I know. Terrifying. Oh, I'm actually going to battle them. Oh, God. Why is there no music? Why is there no music? It's so quiet. It's so weirdly quiet. Did I turn off the music and I forgot or something? It's Ligu's first battle. Yeah, baby. Wow, they're level 50 Paris. I just realized. All right, Ice Beam again. Go. Yeah. You're doing great, Sligu. You're doing great. Get him. Yeah, baby. The, the, thank you. <laughs> I swear I'd never survive here in Hisui without you as a teammate. I came to patrol because I know some of the villagers come out here to hunt for mushrooms. While keeping an eye out for them, I ended up hunting around a bit myself for some finds. But the mushrooms ended up hunting m me. I guess my brother is probably a mess worrying about me again, huh? Yeah, kinda. But you're so good at battling. Probably even better suited to the security corps than I am. <laughs> She's part of the security corps. I'm sure the villagers of 
Jubilee feels so reassured having her there to protect them. Okay, bye, lady. <laughs> she just leaves. She just contemplates her, like, job, you know? She just go seek out a new career. You know, I still haven't tried going to this lake here. I was tempted to since we can surf now, but I'm like, you know, we haven't gone to the third lake yet. So I kind of want to wait. And then maybe one episode will... <gasps> I forgot we had a request here. Oh, thank God I came here. I I kept, I completely forgot about this request. But yeah, I kind of wanted to wait till I had all three lakes unlocked to visit all three of them in one go or something. Yeah, there's like a request here in Romanus Island. But look, guys, there's these flowers here. I think these are supposed to be the Romanus flowers in the future. <laughs> okay, here we go. Maybe he's going to say something about the flowers. Oh, he's a diamond guy. Well, who are you? What? You've got Pokemon with you? What are the odds? They must have my back today bringing you here. Look, I know we just met, but would you do something for me? Uh, this would be a little weird in real life, but what what is it, man? What do you want me to do for you? I'd love it if you could bring me that Pokemon. Uh, what was its name again? Well, the one with a scythe on each arm. Oh, Scyther? <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> Come on, surely you can find it in your heart to do such a small task. If it's such a small task, dude, why don't you go do it? I'd love it if you could bring me that Pokemon. Uh, what's his name again? Oh, he's just saying the same thing again. All right. Excellent. I had a feeling you'd say that. Okay. Huh? Never mind why I need it. Just bring me that Pokemon with a scythe on each arm. Why? I don't, I don't know if I trust this guy, guys. Is he gonna like use the scyther to just sit here and like scythe all the flowers or something? He's so suspicious. Humming up roses. He is gonna do something with the flowers. Find a Pokemon with a Scythian Charm, catch one to show to him. So I think I can just show him it and not give him the Pokemon. Well, if anything, I do have an Alpha Scyther, so... Let's bring that Pokemon. Wait, I have... I, I have one. I have one! <laughs> do I have to go put it in my party? God, this guy's really gonna make me go all the way to camp to put it in my party to then run all the way back here. How does this guy even forget the name Scyther if he's saying Scythes on each arm? Like, I know I'm bad at remembering Pokemon names, but my god. Okay, dude, I brought you your freaking Scyther. Go on, show it to me, please. Okay, this guy is still really suspicious. Look at those keen blades. They'll make short work of this. He didn't comment that I brought the alpha. You see the Romanus roses blooming all over this island? I have to gather every last one. Oh god, why? No, I think we're gonna like stop him or something, right? That's so weird, why does he want them? I've been trying to pluck all of them myself. Having this, ah yes, Scyther's help will make things much smoother. <laughs> all the roses? Now hold on. They're for my wife, you see. She told me she wanted to fill her garden with these Romanus roses. Well, you know what? Your wife can go screw herself. Like if you wanted to take like some of them, sure, like a couple of them or whatever, but like don't sit here and like rob this whole island of its like natural flowers, man. So I'm gathering every last one here to fill that garden right up for my darling dear. You're taking it too far. I think she just... <laughs> You're taking it too far. What? S seriously? What, what? Is it that like crazy of a concept to not take all the roses? So she just meant to plant some? Well, that was a pretty severe misunderstanding. Yeah, dude, that was all you. That was just you being an idiot. I'm glad you came along before I plucked every rose in this island. Yeah, dude, I almost forgot to come here. I'll just bring some of their seeds home for us to raise together. Take care. Yeah, that's way better. My God, this guy's here is about to destroy nature and ruin the ecosystem of this island just to simp for his wife. I can't believe I had to run back here to put Scyther in my party. Literally for no reason. Like, actually for no reason. My God. Okay, dude. I found your sister yet again. <laughs> How did she even get into the security core, man? Thank you for saving Wanda yet again. I'm so glad we've got the survey core to rely on. <laughs> That's not even my job. My job's just to go out and research stuff. Shouldn't you get another member of the security core to go find her? Maybe they don't want to like embarrass her in front of her colleagues. I was chilled to my marrow when I heard my sister was caught in a Pokemon attack this time. If only she could just get herself assigned to patrolling the village for a while. Nice and safe. Oh man, I wonder what's going to happen to his sister this time. Because I have a feeling it's not over. Okay, this time there's no new quest from him. All right. So I think I, I think I'm good on the side quest for now, guys. Yeah, because I think I have to go to the new place for the sand radish. Well, actually, you know, I do, I say that, but didn't this lady, isn't she selling sand radishes? Should I? I feel like I kind of just want to like buy them off her. Do you guys think it's cheating? I kind of want to. Hey, man, I totally got some sand radishes from the new place and I didn't just buy them from across the street. 
Oh yeah, I'm supposed to give them to Taohua. No, I don't want to buy anything from you. You know, guys, it's so quiet. I just re- I think I did turn off the music and I forgot. I need to fix that. I did. I must have turned it off back when I was hunting for alphas and I was just like watching stuff while doing it. I'm so sorry, guys. I didn't even realize it was off. There must have been music playing during the Clefairy cutscene. Uh, I was wondering why it was so quiet. I'll like go watch it in like a YouTube video or something and see if there is music. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so sorry about that, guys. Hey, Taohua, I brought you some sand radishes. Ah, the Survey Corps recruit who quelled the Lord of the Hollow. I'm sorry you keep getting roped into errands on my account. To tell you the truth, I'd be happy to just get my Corps products out of to the shop for free. But that'd mean letting Choi off the hook. And the very idea of that sets my teeth gnashing. <laughs> Are you bound for the Alabaster Iceland soon? Would you bring me back three sand radishes? Uh, what would you say if I already had the sand radishes? Oh, you're back with the veggies? Well done, gathering them in that harsh climate. Uh, yeah, I, I totally went there. It was crazy, man. Why are they even, like, for sale yet? If I haven't gone to the place yet. Ah, sand radishes. The alabaster Iceland's finest feature. <laughs> if you give these bitter roots a nice thorough pickling, it brings out a unique sweetness. Once they're pickled, they make for a lovely crisp and... Quite well like snack. Oh, maybe the pickle lady would like these. My granddaughter makes a fine pickle. I'll tell you what. Is this granddaughter the pickle lady? Anyway, I'm sorry to have kept on using you as a go-between with Choi. I suppose it's time I had a proper conversation with the whelp. Oh boy. We're gonna get to the conclusion to this drama. Dude, he disappeared. Hey dude, I'm here to help you resolve your daddy issues once and for all. Now listen. I'll set you up with some new goods, but as a favor to Biddy, not you. Don't think for one second this means I've accepted you. But Tahua, sir. Oh, please, Grandpa. I can't believe this is still an issue for you. Oh, is this her grand- his granddaughter? I thought it was a pickle lady. Yui, how long have you been- What? Is our little store not worthy to sell your goods? Talk about letting personal feelings get in the way of your business. If you keep this up, Grandpa, I swear I'll never speak to you again. Ugh, but why, sweet Yui? You swore you'd never get married and leave your poor gramps. No, no. Is his greatest treasure his granddaughter and she married this guy? Is that what he meant? That's why he didn't want to supply goods? This whole time I was like suspecting the general store guy or I figured it was some kind of misunderstanding, but I, I didn't expect this. <laughs> wow, Tahoe is kind of petty if, that's, if this is all that was. Oh my god. Who in their right mind takes a tiny child's words so seriously? I'm so sorry my grandpa has been such a bother to you, Biddy. I hope this doesn't put you off from visiting our shop. I mean, I was never really gonna visit your shop anyway, but it's fine. Okay, bye. We're just awkwardly watching her walk away. Are we done looking at her now? Jeez! He probably has all the Pokeballs for sale now. I feel like I cheated because I bought the sand radishes. He does have them all for sale now. Wow, he's selling Max Revives too. Okay, guys, I think that's all the side quests for now. Yeah, it's just the eerie apparitions. Okay, so I know that there is one wisp remaining in the town. So I'm going to go ahead and go and find it. And we're going to see if the little girl says anything special. And then we can head off finally to the uh, Alabaster Icelands or whatever. You know, my house hasn't really changed much. Which I'm kind of sad about. The only new thing that's been added is the little doll. I was hoping more stuff would just passively get added, like with the more side quests I did or something. Okay, guys, I found it. I found it. It's It was behind the training grounds. Oh, man. Okay. I, I didn't spend too much time looking for it. What the heck are these? Just like towels. Anyway, let's touch it. I still got to go find all the ones in the other areas. <gasps> I've collected all the wisps in this area. Yes. I want to see if the little girl says something special. Thanks again for helping me. You've collected 54 wisps so far. 53 more to find. Wow. I'm like halfway done. I've gathered 50. Here's a present. Oh, linking cord. Six more. Do you have any questions? No. Oh, she doesn't say anything special. Okay. I just didn't want to do it on my own just in case something special did happen. But I guess I'll, I'll make sure to collect all the wisps in the Obsidian Field Dunce and stuff on my own. Anyway, I guess now we can head off. You know, I should make it daytime actually. All right, made it daytime. It's time to go to the final area, guys. Oh my goodness. This is kind of sad. Oh, this is kind of sad. At least I'm assuming it's the final area. 
right? Because I mean, there's technically space like down here, right? For like a whole area. I don't know, like maybe over here on this side. <laughs> but man, the final place, Alabaster Iceland. Let's go. Wow. Yeah, see, this is actually snowy. Wow. Oh, is that Snow Point Temple? Are we actually like on top of Mount Coronet now? Or maybe not Mount Coronet because the Snow Point Temple wasn't at Mount Coronet. <laughs> My word, it's rather chilly here, isn't it? Very few venture to these alabaster Icelands, apart from Tauhua leading the Odd Supply Corps excursion to gather materials. But the Survey Corps, of course, must go anywhere that Pokemon are found. From what I gather, I speak Arena where you'll find Avalug is rather far off, I'm afraid. Doubtless this mission to tackle Avalug will be another dangerous one. I'm sure I'll be fine. Learn all that you can from Irida and Adamin to try to keep yourself safe. Oh, or, oh, they're both gonna help me this time around. Oh, that's cute. Betty, brisk out here, isn't it? I almost missed that. How aren't you freezing? Dude, I was thinking the same thing. I was looking at Irida's clothes like, girl, how are you not like super cold right now? Look, look, look what this bitch is wearing. Like, hello, it's snowing right now. What's wrong with you? Freezing? I'm practically sweating. <laughs> like, whatever, Irida. If you think this is bad, just wait. This is nothing compared to where we're headed. She's like that one person that's like, oh, man, you know, it's not really cold here. You know, back where I'm from, like, oh, man, you'll you'll know what real cold's like. And I'm not cold at all over here. You know, like one of those. <laughs> His face, he's like not buying it. You know, I'm beginning to think the problem between us isn't a Diamond Clan thing or a Pearl Clan thing. It's just a you and me thing. <laughs> you know, yeah, I kind of Adam, and that's, yeah, I agree. We'll never see eye to eye on anything, will we? I don't see how we could. As long as you and your clan cling to your vision of an almighty Sinnoh that reigns over time, you guys can still get along. What? <laughs> That's like saying people from different religions can't get along. You guys can still be friends, Irida, even if you have different beliefs. Forgive my bluntness, but if such a being even does exist, it's certainly not almighty Sinnoh. Well, Irida, you're going to have a rude wake up call whenever Dialga and Palki is revealed. Actually, I mean, in a way, she's technically right. It's technically not really Arceus. I mean, like, it, like, I know that Arceus made Dialga and Palkia, so it kind of also is Arceus, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yes, yes. Believe what you want. Just tell us where we have to go. We're headed to see my teacher, and he's only ever found in one place. Which is? You're talking about that Garrick fellow, right? Where do we find him? At Avalok's legacy, obviously. Where else but a great mass of ice could I have meant when I said we'd be heading somewhere even colder? Jeez, Erida, calm down. He's just asking. <laughs> like, these two need to just kiss already. My God. Where else indeed? Ready to go, Biddy? They're like a freaking married couple that's just arguing all the time. Sure, stomp off without me. This is why I can't stand people who only care about whether time is passing them by. See you at Avalok's legacy, Biddy. <laughs> Take care on your way. Okay, bye. Why can't we just all travel together? Go to meet Garrick of the Pearl Clan. That's a really cool name. Wow, though. This is so cool. Oh my God. <gasps> Wait, oh, the marker's blocking it, but there's a triangle thing. I forgot what these are called. I remember seeing them in Pokemon Snap. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, little guy. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I think I can reach him from here. Cool. Are they aggressive? I don't feel like they are. I think they're called snow runts. Please don't disappear. I'm gonna get ya! Oh, whoa! I just opened the map. Wow, is this gonna be the new camp? Probably. Wow, there's a lot to explore in this place. Oh, here's the third lake. That is so cute. Snow Point Temple. Dude, it's literally in the same spots where they are in the map in Diamond and Pearl. Because it was like the lake was here and then Snow Point City was like next to it. And then the temple was in the city. That is so cute. Doesn't that mean this is kind of like the route, you know, going up from, from Coronet? I couldn't like climb this mountain for some reason, even though there's like still land on the other side. I haven't tried that one yet, but I was just like looking at this giant canyon in front of us. How are we supposed? Oh, I thought it was like way deeper than it actually is. Oh, <gasps> wow. Look at that, guys. It's a cave. Oh, my God. I want to go see. Look at this mound here. This like snow mound. What is this? Is this like a... It is. Oh, my God. Snowball. What the heck is snowball for? Anyway, what's in here? Oh, this is so cool. Oh my God. Crevice Passage. Oh my God. Dude, I hope they make another game like Legends Arceus Sneasler. Oh. 
This has been so much fun, but I want them to like expand on their ideas, you know? <gasps> oh my God. What is that? I, I have no idea what these are. Oh God. I think I do know what those are actually, but I don't know what they're called. Perg, pergmite? Is that what it's called? Berg, bergmite. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure about these. Oh my God. Oh, they're not hostile. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> Dude, when they're docile, they're so adorable the way they bounce around and stuff. Well, I've reached the other end of the cave. There wasn't really anything else in there. Wow, the music though. Oh my God. This is so cool. Whoa. Wow, look at that waterfall and those giant like ice block things. Wow, this is so freaking cool. <laughs> oh, that's the, oh, that's the camp where we came from. Oh, oh, hey, it took us like over here. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, they're so cute. You can see little baby <laughs> swine up. Hi, no, stop running. Stop running. <laughs> oh my God, you're so cute. You're so cute. Come here. Oh, what are snowballs for? I guess I can throw them. Oh my God, I got it. I need to get the big one. I like this place actually has grass you can hide in <laughs> and bushes. What is that over there? What is that? Is that a, is that the bunny thing? It It is. Oh, it's just sitting down. <laughs> yeah, Buniary. I love the snow runs. Oh my gosh. I love how much of a big wide open area this is. Oh my God. Look at that thing. Oh, <gasps> it's an alpha dude. I think that Pokemon is so scary looking and he's like terrifying as an alpha. Jeez. I don't remember what it's called, but I remember seeing it in, in Pokemon Snap. I love how the sun is already setting and I made it morning too before I came out here. All right. I'm going to get you. Yeah, big chungus. A freaking haunter over there. I gotta hurry. I gotta hurry. He's chewing. He's chewing. He's still chewing. No, I didn't get him in the back. Dang it. Wait, something else aggroed me. Oh my God. I caught him. Oh, a different Glalie aggroed me. Oh, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. What's happening? Oh, 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 we're good guys. We're good. We're good. Of course there's balloons here. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, I see one of the little Obama snows, the Obama snow baby. <laughs> I forgot what it's called. <gasps> it's an alpha swine up. Whoa, Dusclops is here too. Wow. More Electabuzz. Wait, is that another cave or is that just a big rock? It is another cave. Oh, wow. Right, let's go check out the cave. I think caves are so cool in this game. Hi Hibernal cave. <gasps> oh my God, it's this thing. Did I ever find these for the Cornet Highlands? I don't think I did. Is there one of these in every single area or is there only like three in total or something? Cause I, I've only, this makes the third one that I found. I'm trying to make out what they are. I don't know what the heck that one is in the bottom left. It wouldn't be one of the aliens, right? I think that's the bird there. Oh my God, the one in the top left. That is 100% Cresselia. That is so cute. And then Regigigas is next to her. Or, or is that Regigigas? I'm not sure. Is that the evolved form of Scyther next to Regigigas? I don't think so. Wow, these are cool. I just don't know what they mean yet. Oh, hey, it's Machamp and Machoke. Wow, guys, look at that. Wow, is that like a, a waterfall that got frozen over? I think I see an unknown on there. Oh my God. Let me get up there, Sneasler. <gasps> I thought I could go in there for a second. I can't, I can't go in there, can I? There is an unknown up there. No, oh my God, I'm just like on an invisible wall, okay. There is an unknown here. Wow. Look at that. Get over here. Do they even try to escape the balls? Because I always just use the regular Pokeballs just to save like the higher tier balls. Oh, wow. There's a Crobat flying. Why would I even try to catch that thing when they've, I've just seen them around? Right? I've seen them around, right? I don't know now. Now I'm not sure. <laughs> Whoa, I can kind of see Snowpoint Temple from here. Wait, let me like walk over here. <gasps> there it is. Whoa, it looks so cool from the distance. Man, it's like a giant cathedral or something. Wow, I can't wait for us to go there. But I also don't want to like rush exploring since this is like the final place, you know? What the heck is over here? Nothing. Nothing's over here. It, could, it looked like we could go here. Dude, there's even like an opening here, right? That goes down. <laughs> okay, guys, I think I might actually end here for now. 
So next time we're going to do some more exploring around the Alabaster Icelands. Dude, this place is so freaking cool so far. <laughs> I'm here thinking it was going to have like a desert also because of sand radishes. Can you even find sand radishes here? Well, yeah, because Tahua says you can. That's so weird. Sand radishes. Yeah, so next time we'll continue exploring. We'll uh, slowly make our way to the uh, quest point here and maybe unlock flying. Because I know we always unlock the area's mount first before we actually go and fight the noble. So I I'm guessing we'll do that as well. Dude, I can't wait for us to fly. That's going to be so exciting. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Or not. Why is there suddenly like... Why is there suddenly... Oh my god. Lucario, sir. I was in the middle of doing my outro, please. Dude, geez, I was just standing here and all of a sudden the music started playing. Anyway, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.